hello youtube today i'm here with a new tutorial and in this video i'm going to show how to install macOS sierra 10.12.4 on your macintosh you can use this guide to install macOS sierra on your all mac products including mac pro and imac for this purpose i will be using 13 inch macbook pro powered by an intel core i5 processor late 2011 model so before starting if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates so guys let's start so the first step is to create a bootable usb for mac or sierra to create a bootable usb for mac or sierra you need to have access to a macintosh or a hackintosh computer if you don't have you can ask it from your friends and a usb flash drive more than 8 gigabytes so first you need to download the Mac OS Sierra from App Store. I have already downloaded the Mac OS Sierra from App Store. Here is the Mac OS Sierra image file. And if you are having problem, you can use the offline image. All the download links are provided under video in the description. If you are using offline image, then open the DMG file and copy install Mac OS Sierra to applications folder. So insert your USB flash drive and go to utilities, open disk utility and select your USB flash drive and click on erase button under name leave it to untitled under format select Mac OS X extended journal aid under scheme select GUID partition map and click on erase button. Now click on done and close disk utility, close utility and now coming to desktop, uh, go to spotlight search and type terminal, press enter to open the terminal and we will use the sudo terminal command to create a bootable USB for Mac OS era. so open this command, the link is given in the description and copy this command and paste to terminal, press enter now enter your password and press enter now it will erase the disk and copy the mac OS sierra image file and make this usb flash drive bootable for your macintosh as you can see copying installer files to the disk so this will take at least uh, 15 to 20 minutes depending on your macintosh or a hackintosh computer speed Now the process has been finished and the bootable USB drive has been prepared. So close the terminal. Now eject the USB flash drive and you are ready to install Mac OS Sierra on your Macintosh computer. So guys this is my MacBook Pro model 2011 and here is my USB drive. So power on your Mac and press this option key while it start up now you will see the recovery drives so insert your USB and as you can see here the install Mac OS Sierra USB flash drive has been appeared so select the USB flash drive and press return the installer is being started
Now, as you can see, the installer has been loaded. Here is the macOS utility. So select double click to select disk utility. Now in the disk utility select your internal drive and click on erase button. Under name you can type any name but for instance I am typing Macintosh HD. Under format select Mac OS X extended journal ed. Under scheme select GUID partition map and click on erase button. Now click on done and close the disk utility and select install Mac OS upgrade or install a new copy of Mac OS. So double click to select this. Select continue. Now click on agree and select your disk. So here is the Macintosh HD and click on install. So as you can see 7 minutes is remaining so first it will copy the installer unnecessary file and then again it will restart your mac and then begin to install so wait for that Now, as you can see the installer is copying the necessary files now the Mac has been restarted as you can see it will continue to the installer As you can see the macOS era is being installed and about 15 minutes is remaining. Now as you can see installation is about to complete and less than a minute is remaining. Now the installation has been finished and the Mac has been restarted. Now here is the macOS welcome screen and you have to configure your Mac. So select your country and click on continue. Select your keyboard layout and click on continue. If you wish to connect your Wi-Fi network select otherwise continue. Select continue. Select don't transfer any information now and continue if you want to enable location services you can enable it and click on continue as the terms and condition click on agree select agree now it's time to create a computer account so type your name under password type your password If you want to change your account icon, you can change it from here. Now type your password in and click on continue. Click on continue, enable Siri and click on continue. Now this is setting up your map.
So finally here is the Mac OS Zero welcome screen. Click on preferences. Select hard drive, hard disk and connected servers. Now go to settings. Select sound. And select play feedback when volume is changed. And select show volume in menu bar. And the airplay is working. The Wi-Fi is working. To show battery percentage, click on battery icon and select show percentage. And spotlight is here. So let's check out the specifications about this Mac. So here is the Mac Osira version 10.12.4 MacBook Pro, but by 2.4 GHz Intel Core i5 processor, 4 GB of 1333 MHz DDR3 RAM. The startup disk is Macintosh HD, and the graphics is Intel HD graphics 3384 MB. The display is working fine. Closes, and as you can see. To decrease the brightness, brightness is working, and here is the keyboard backlight. This is also working, and this is the sound. Sound is also working. As you can see, listen to the sound. So, guys, finally, we have Mac OS Zero on your Macintosh computer. So hope you like this video, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for more updates, stay connected and have a great day.